Cave Johnson here. Every time I look at our test chamber production line, I am reminded of my father. Now, he wasn't a scientist, just a simple farmer. A professor of farming at the local farm college. Never farmed a day in his life. But his theories on farming are the backbone of this company. Do it from scratch. Spare no expense. And never cut corners. Well, that's a corner-cutting machine. We obviously cut them there. Point is, we've always done things the way my father did. And his father before him, and his father before him, and his father before him. And we are almost bankrupt. So, time for a cheaper approach. Allow me to introduce... The Multiverse. Infinite Earths with an infinite number of apertures. And as of now, they are going to take over all test chamber construction. And more importantly, all paying for test chamber construction. Why are they agreeing to do that? They're not. We're tricking them. Here's how it works. One, design a test. Two, slip the mole monsters or what have you the blueprint when they're not looking. Three, once they build it, steal it back. Look at that sad little octopus. <laughs> That's where you come in. We need blueprints. We are about to run the greatest con game in the history of the multiverse, and you are the bottleneck. Yes, you. Get back to work. Okay, so this is the uh, Perpetual Testing Initiative DLC, just come out for Portal 2. Uh, we're going to do a test drive of it. Now, I've never used this level edited before, so uh, basically just going to jump straight into Create Test Chamber and see just how easy it is to do. Uh, now, according to the website, it's very, very easy, and they say exactly how you can do it in just five steps, which three of them, I believe, they waste. So, literally, they do like two steps, and it's like, that's it. Um, but yeah, there's already been Hammer that's been out since pretty much as soon as the game came out um, that you could make levels in, but this is designed to be a much simpler interface to make, like, quickly make test chambers in. Okay, so as you can see, basically you've got a drag and drop thing and a thing somehow. Ah, there you go, that's how you uh, basically extend and stuff like that. Uh, seems very easy to control. Um, right, okay, so we've got our items here. So, hmm, let's see what we've got. Right, okay, let's try... put one of these up here. So that'll prevent the player from going through there. Um, can you fire portals through those things? I can't remember. Hmm. Ah, right. So, I should be able to... Is there a way to select the whole area? There we go. Um, don't check portable. There we go, right. So, basically, you can't portal into there. I honestly have no idea what sort of chamber I'm making here. <laughs> Just uh, throwing some things about. Um. Hmm. Tell you what, right. Okay. I'll place a staircase there. Don't know how you rotate. Right, okay, so we got some flat stairs there. Okay, let let's not make this a hard one. Let's just, you know this is just for testing purposes. Um place a button here and then connect to there. Okay, so if we press that button that should lift those stairs and then Obviously, I've put those in the way so you can't actually get. Uh, let's get rid of those. Yeah. Uh, right. 
let's just test it. So I think if you yeah, build and play. So it's just gonna you know, make the test chamber. And I should be able to jump right in. Not sure how long it's gonna take. Hopefully not long. Here we go, right. Okay, so I'm in. So there's the room up there. Here's the stairs. If I press this button, the stairs raise. Obviously, uh, you can set a custom time for those stairs because those literally go up and down again. Ah. Well, I suppose that does make it a bit more of a yeah. More of a challenge. I'm gonna try and oh. ah no. But yeah, so there you go. There's uh, a little bit of it. Uh, if we go back to the editor, straight back into it there. Um, yeah. So if we edit this button, there we go. So it's not time now. Um, okay. Uh, right. So if we just place a cube in here, standard cube there, uh, can you connect to multiple things? Oh, you can. Nice. Right. Okay. And then just cube button there. I want to connect. Hmm. How strange. Let's try a normal button. Why is this not working? My right clicks just stopped working. There we go. Alright, okay. So I can add that to that door. Move over a bit. Move the position of this as well. I think that affects the uh, the lighting of the room. Okay, let's give this one a try then. Just wait for it to render again. I suppose render is the wrong word, isn't it? Uh, compile, there we go. Yeah. Ah, yeah. If you can see, there's actually. It shows a progress meter on there. Okay, so this puzzle should now actually be solvable. Yeah, as you can see, that. That's actually affected the dynamic lighting of the room by me moving it down. Right, okay, so that opens the door, so you can't actually go through it. Uh, so, press this button, and out comes the cube. And test it. So there you go. That's uh, that's how simple it is to create a test chamber on this uh, perpetual testing initiative DLC. Uh, obviously, it helps if you've actually got an idea in your head first. I've basically just winged it on here and uh, got in without any idea of what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, there you go. Even if you've got no clue, you can still make a working test. So. Yeah, that's available on Steam right now for the incredible price of free.